You can't always say what it is that shuts you up, what walls you in, what seems to bury you alive, but you still feel some kind of bars, some kind of cage, some kind of walls. There's more toil than rest in life. I try to work on the truth. It was made when there was a furious storm and the sea came close to the dunes. I twice had to scrape off completely because it was covered in a thick layer of sand. There is something infinite about painting, but particularly for the expression of moods, it is so wonderful. In colors, there are hidden aspects of harmony or contrasts that don't take sides. There is peace even in the storm. I am rich because I found something I can devote myself to heart and soul. Art is a powerful current that carries a man to a haven. I came past the lottery office one rainy morning when people were waiting outside to collect tickets. Their expression of waiting touched me. It becomes more meaningful when you see it in terms of the poor and the money. In a revolt against misery and in an effort to forget, the poor souls buy a lottery ticket which they imagine might possibly rescue them. The painting is dark, hardly any white. The grey linen tablecloth, smoke-stained walls, the dusty bonnets in which the women have been working on the land. The flesh colours are like the colour of a good dusty potato unpeeled. Peasant life absorbs me. I deliberately tried to make people think of a totally different way of living from that which we educated people live. So that the shapes are simplified to areas of colour, I am looking more through my eyelashes. I want to touch people with my art. I want them to say, he feels deeply, he feels tenderly. In the woman's portrait, I put lighter tones in the flesh from which her face is only distinguished by her black hair. In ordinary young men and girls, I find a vigor in life that should be painted with a firm brush stroke, with a simple technique to express their individual character. Portraits with the thoughts, the soul of the model, is what I believe must happen. I am always doing what I cannot do yet in order to learn how to do it. My great desire is to make changes to reality that become lies but more valid than truth. The countryside here seems to be as beautiful as Japan in terms of the limpidity of the atmosphere and the brightness of the colors. Water makes patches of fine emerald green and rich blue in the landscape, such as we see in Japanese prints. In moments when nature is so beautiful, I experience a period of frightening clarity. I am no longer sure of myself, and the paintings appear as in a dream. It's at times like these that I feel as happy as I could be in any ideal real life. A small town surrounded by countryside, very much a Japanese dream. Japanese artists draw quickly with simple lines to define movement and form. I exaggerate the essential and deliberately leave the ordinary vague, not to give any detail because that takes the dream element out of it. But always I paint by what I feel. Painting is a faith and it imposes the duty to disregard public opinion. The greatest and most dynamic people always worked against the stream. I often think that the night is more alive and richly colored than the day. I've tried to convey the sense that the cafe is a place where one goes to ruin, goes mad, commits crimes. Art is to console those who are broken by life. I express the powers of darkness through delicate pink, 
red and soft greens, in contrast with hard yellow and blue greens, amidst an infernal furnace of pale sulfur. I always feel like a traveler going somewhere. All I look for in painting is a way of getting through life. I've done a canvas on my bedroom with the white wood furniture. It's the color that makes it what it is, bringing greater style to things through simplification and creating the feeling of rest. How difficult it is to be simple. I'm just using variety of stroke. Shadows are done away with. No stippling, no hatching, nothing. Only harmonious flat tints like Japanese prints. This is revenge for the enforced rest I've been obliged to take. If a Monticelli flower painting is worth 500 francs, I'd hazard to say that my sunflowers are worth 500 francs too. You must have noticed two canvases in Gauguin's room. To work up the heat to melt those golds and flower tones isn't something that just anyone can do. Let me go on with my work. If it's the work of a madman, there's nothing I can do about it. Perhaps someday everyone will have neuroses. Certain stars have a forget-me-not brilliance. The sight of them makes me dream. By taking more than may be apparent in terms of color and a drawing style that is spontaneous rather than imitatively precise, it's possible to express a countryside purer in nature than the suburbs and nightclubs of Paris. I feed on nature and don't invent the whole picture. Nature is severe and hard but never deceives. Sometimes you need those places to calm yourself down. I'm battling with a canvas I began before becoming ill, the Reaper, thickly painted, but the subject was fine and simple. I saw in him the image of death, in the sense that mankind could be seen as the wheat he is reaping. It happens in broad daylight, with the sun flooding everything with a fine gold light. It's an image of death seeking an almost smiling quality. Studying figures teaches you to grasp the essential and to simplify. I find it odd that I saw it like this from between the iron bars of a cell. While I was looking at the canvas of battered pine trees against a red, orange and yellow sky, I told myself it wasn't right. So I took a dirty matte white and plastered this all over the sky. It would seem as if one was making it dirty, yet it softens the tones by breaking them up. Isn't this what misfortune and illness do to us? Are we not better off with the fate that destiny ordains than serene and good health by the lights of our own vague desires of possible happiness? I'm working on a canvas of large bunches of violet irises that stand out against a striking lemon-yellow background, creating an effect of fantastic, ill-assorted, complementary colors. With patches of thickly applied color, I strike the canvas with uneven touches. The more ugly, old, and nasty, ill, and poor I become, the more I want to get my own back by producing vibrant, radiant color. In a picture, color is like enthusiasm in life. What excites me most is portraiture. I pursue it through color and should like to paint portraits that will seem like apparitions. I'm not seeking to achieve this through photographic likeness, but through the expression of emotions and color. In the portrait of Dr. Gachet, he's very nervous and very bizarre. 
My portrait of myself is almost like this too. So similar are we physically and morally. I think he is sicker than I am, or shall we say just as much. When one blind man leads another, don't they both fall into the ditch? I have a large picture of the village church. The building has an effect of violet hues against a sky of simple deep blue, pure cobalt. In the foreground, some green plants are in bloom and sand with the pink glow of sun on it. Unwell as I am, I cannot do without the power to create. Only he can be an artist who has a religion all his own, an original way of viewing infinity. I wish they would take me as I am. Holding on tight is better than giving up. Though the brush was almost slipping through my fingers, I painted vast expanses of wheat under stormy skies. I had little trouble in conveying the sense of sadness and extreme solitude. Nature and a true artist are in tune with each other. It's a painter's duty to immerse himself in nature and express his feelings in his work so that it can be understood by others. The only time I feel alive is when I'm painting. What am I? in most people's eyes. A non-entity, or an eccentric and disagreeable man. I should want my work to show what is in the heart of such an eccentric, of such a nobody. Normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow on it. I would rather die of passion than of boredom. I never get tired of the blue sky. Someday death will take us to another star.